In 10 minutes for the full forecast, buddy. It's happening literally overnight. Utah weather springing backward to winter. It can be disappointing for all of us who have to reach into our closet for our winter coat one more time. It can be dangerous for all those newly planted gardens. Can we save them? The answer is yes, if we move quickly. Cover it back up and tuck it in. The pros wasted no time today putting their inventory under wraps. They're very delicate and expensive inventory. It's in the hundreds of thousands. <laughs> Cover the plants and we're going to need to weight it down. For Donna Emery and her crews, the process is fairly simple. If you just bought in all new plants and you don't want to have to replace them, cover them up or bring them indoors if you can. But for the rest of us, knowing which are for warm weather is not so simple. So these are not hardy. Some of our vegetables can take a little bit of frost, but some of them like beans and herbs like basil, they can't take any frost. Everything we see at neighborhood nurseries, such as this one, are examples of what's growing in backyards all over Utah. And most of these plants are at risk, even when it's two degrees from a freeze. For the true tropicals, even below 40 can be hard on some of the plants like basil, for instance. So if it's going to fall below 40 degrees, then we advise people to cover. The greenhouse at Glover's Nursery is packed with plant life tonight, just in case. The forecast is 34. It might even get colder than that. Tomatoes and peppers and eggplant and squash, they're all tropicals. They're not going to take that kind of cold. This nasty weather that's making people and animals miserable, actually a blessing for our plants, say experts. The rain and the wind will actually protect them from frosting overnight and save the day.